Hello there, and welcome back to Thomas Frank Explains. So Notion recently released a brand new type of block called the Synced Block. And in this video, you're going to learn exactly how to use it in under two minutes. So what is a Synced Block? Well, it's essentially a way to embed content from one Notion page to another Notion page, or even several Notion pages, as many as you want. All you need to do is create the Synced Block and then copy it to basically any other page in your workspace. Once that's done, you're gonna be able to see and even edit that content anywhere you've placed the Synced Block. So here's how to create one. First, create some content or start with a synced block by typing the slash command and then typing synced to get the synced block option. You're gonna see a red border, which indicates where the synced block is, and then you can create any other blocks that you want or drag blocks that already exist into your synced block. From there, you can click the copy and sync button, which is gonna copy that block onto your clipboard and you'll be able to paste it anywhere else within your workspace. Once that's done, you're gonna see a drop down menu, which will show you everywhere in your workspace where the synced block exists. At the top, you're always going to see the original page where it was created, and that page's permissions are going to determine who can see the content of the synced block and edit it. Speaking of editing, when you make an edit to the content or add blocks within a synced block, you're gonna see changes happen instantaneously across every location of that particular synced block. So be careful about making changes that you only wanna have happen in one location. In fact, if that's what you're trying to do, you can open the three dot menu and click unsync to unsync a particular instance of a synced block from the rest of its location. Locations. Be careful about doing this on the original though, because if you do it there, it's going to basically erase the synced block and you're gonna end up with a bunch of different blocks that were synced before, now just in a ton of different locations, isolated and on their own. Last but not least, you can turn any other block into a synced block by using the original turn into command. Though with synced blocks, it's a little bit different than normal. You're not changing a block into a different type of block. You're just wrapping it in a brand new synced block, which you can then start using. So that is everything you need to know about how to use synced blocks in less than two minutes. But if you wanna go further, I also published a new video on some ideas for how to use synced blocks in your workspace. So check that out in the description down below. And I also have a whole article on synced blocks that I'll also have in the description if you want to read a text version of this that has even more detail. As always, thanks for watching. I'm on Twitter at Tom Frankly. So if you have Notion questions about synced blocks or anything else, tweet me over there or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.